We are back with Heather and Ben, who are at odds about whether Ben should get the COVID vaccine. To help in the discussion, we have pediatric infectious disease expert, Dr. John Williams, and neuropsychologist, Dr. Judy. She's here as well. They're both going to weigh in on the discussion. So, Dr. Williams, let's start with you. People, the doctors included here, are a little confused about whether COVID antibodies do give you immunity. Can you break down that controversy? Yeah, it's really a great question. And kudos to Ben for doing his research, as well as being a blood donor. More people should be. He brought up a couple of really good points about the quality and the quantity of the antibodies. Those antibodies vary a lot in quantity and quality. Some people who are infected with COVID make very few antibodies, and they're not very effective. In contrast, people who have gotten the COVID vaccines virtually all make a very strong, very high quality antibody response. So the vaccines offer stronger and more lasting immunity. Another big problem is that most of the tests don't tell you the number, the quantity of antibodies, and we don't even know the number. So all the tests tell you is that you have antibodies, yes or no. The vaccine is a much safer way to know that you're protected. Does that information help you, Ben? I mean, that's the that's the general held position. And uh, I mean, I knew that going into this. I think he gave a piece of information that you can also share with some of the people in the anti-vax community, because for people who are assuming that having COVID in the past, you know, mm -hmm. protects them, if they're assuming that they will have the high quality antibodies that you get when you actually get the vaccine, then knowing that that's not the case may be beneficial to them, don't you think? Because he, he answered that. Yes and no, I don't think it's that simple of a question. Um, and the reason being is, is that, one, we don't know what level of antibodies you need to have an effective immune response for reinfection. So if that level is present in most people that had previous infection, then that's great. More doesn't necessarily mean better. It can, but, you know, it's more of a yes or no question. It's a pass or fail test. More is better, actually. So more antibodies offer greater protection. And, <clears throat> you know, we, my wife and I have four kids. All four are vaccinated. One of them had COVID last fall. We still got her vaccinated because I want my daughter to have the best protection. And that's the vaccine. Heather, do you believe that your husband, Ben, is going to get the COVID vaccine? You know, vis-a-vis, -vis, he had a real issue with your daughter getting the polio vaccine. Well, so as far as our daughter, um, he was he was more okay with the polio shot. And it's issues more like with the MMR coming up. I wanted her to get it. He's more skeptical. So we've been working through that. You know, he, he comes from the study. I think it was in Japan. They, do you want to go from there? Well, there was a study in Japan that had some side effects from the MMR because previously to them using MMR, they used separate um, vaccines. And so there, there is, even though it's small, uh, there are still side effects or certain people that do have them, and we don't necessarily know why. All right, Dr. Williams, we got we to gotta go back to you right now. So what's your reaction? I mean, you, you're all about immunology and vaccinations. What is your reaction to what Ben is saying specifically about the MMR vaccine? And, you know, I think that a lot of anti-vaxxers uh, out there, you know, buy into a lot of these theories and, and things that are written related to that specific vaccine. They hang their hat on it and use it to, to sort of just make all vaccines bad. So please chime in. You know, a lot of this came from a paper by a doctor named Andrew Wakefield in England uh, that in the late 1980s, a paper that has been thoroughly discredited. He was making his own MMR vaccine and he was funded by a law firm suing the manufacturers of the MMR vaccine. So that's the genesis of the MMR anti-vax, uh, you know, sort of movement. And, and we don't have a lot of measles and rubella. We do have some mumps in this country because of the vaccines. 